And the crowds asked him, what then should we do? In reply, he said to them, whoever has two coats must share with everyone who has none. And whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors came to be baptized, and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers asked him, And what should we do? He said to them, Do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. Luke 3, 10 through 14. I can remember a presentation I gave once. It was on the topic of youth and young adult engagement with the United Nations. And I can still remember staying up the night before, making note cards, and finalizing edits to the PowerPoint. I can remember the applause at the end of the presentation, and then sitting down with the rest of my team to take some questions from the participants of the conference. The first question came in, and I spent the next 10 minutes responding to this one question. Another came in, and I found myself going long again. As the third question was being asked by someone in the audience, I felt a tap on my shoulder, and a note was passed by one of my colleagues, KISS. In case you're not aware, KISS is an acronym that stands for Keep It Simple, Stupid. The point was well received, and we were able to have a meaningful dialogue together, building toward a better future. Do you ever find yourself overcomplicating things? I can picture the crowds gathered around John the Baptist, the community yearning for some instruction and direction. Remember, he is calling them to repent, to change their ways. He is admonishing them, even condemning them, for the ways they have lived their lives. And so they ask him, what then should we do? Sometimes it's that simple. To the crowds, if you have two coats, share with one who doesn't. If you have food, share that too. To the tax collectors, collect the right amount. To the soldiers, don't take money, don't threaten. In other words, care for the people around you. Treat one another fairly. Live together in community. So often I feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of the brokenness of the world and I don't know what to do. It all feels too big, too much. But perhaps the simplicity of John's message still rings true for us today. Let us remember that our hope in Christmas is not for a day, but rather for the transformation of the world. Maybe keeping it simple is a good place to start. Our closing prayer. God, inspire us to do the simple thing right. Excuse me. Closing prayer. God, inspire us to do the simple right thing and the next simple right thing after that. Amen.